I work for GAP in California, and I'm the head of talent planning and performance. I uh, was a real fan of the scarf model when I first discovered NLI, and I thought it was a real unlock for us at GAP in helping managers understand the unintended consequences of some of the things that they do. So I worked to, first of all, understand the model, and then we um, use the model to actually teach our managers about the threats that they can create and in the hopes that they could learn how to create the reward state. Five years ago when my CHRO came to me and said, I want you to look at changing performance management, he said, here's the one thing that I ask you to do. Make sure everything that you bring to this company is scientifically grounded. If you can learn how to get a quality conversation going in the organization about how do we talk about people, what do we look for, and how do we challenge each other. When people finally find their mojo and they get to that moment where they're talking about talent in the way that they should, great things can come out of those conversations. And what I think the NLI do really well here is that they have built this to be brain friendly, to allow us to engage. So when I started discovering what the science was out there about performance, it gave me the ammunition to go back to my organization and say, this is why we need to change. This is what science tells us about our practices today and why they have a negative impact on performance and what we should be doing in the future.